Hello everybody, I'm Bruce Pettis with CageCraze.com. I'm here in Lafayette, Indiana in a little lounge called Where Else. I'm also standing next to 14-time UFC veteran Chris Lights Out Lytle. Now Chris, just recently you got an injury in practice. Could you elaborate on, on the, uh, the injury that you received? Yeah, you know, I've had a, a problem for a while with my knee. It's just, uh, you know, wear and tear. I've been fighting for about 11 and a half years now. And I tore uh, my meniscus a couple times, and this time I tore up real bad, but I couldn't even straighten my leg out. Over under my kneecap, and uh, had to get an MRI. When I did, they told me not only was that broken, but uh, or torn. But my uh, ACL was in front of it. I couldn't, couldn't use that. I had to get an ACL replacement, and it's still there. And I've been out for the past couple of months since the rehab. I imagine your rehab has been real extensive. How far out are you of the competition at this time? Well, I just talked to him the other day, and I said, uh, I think February is the day. Uh, so I'm coming back here in February. It gives me about another month and a half to finish it, another month and a half to work right now. So uh, I'm way ahead of schedule. Um, you know, I was a little over two months, and I'm good to go. I can, I can do back to so I don't have to right now. I could. I will if you want. You know, you know, like, I don't know if you're sworn to secrecy, but do you know who your opponent is going to be? I, I, I'm going to call tonight to find out. I'm hoping they, I, I probably don't know yet. They might be able to call me, but uh, they said they were going to look in the middle of the head. The fight's coming up. Obviously, past weekend, they're going to be on it. They're looking for something. Good, good. Now, since the sanction has come to Indiana, yep. How do you feel about the UFC coming to Indianapolis and you possibly having a chance to fight on that UFC card right here in your own backyard? It's going to happen. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. And uh, I'm looking, I mean, that, I don't know, man. That's going to be a dream to fight in the backyard, the Chicken Field House uh, again for UFC for the first time. I mean, uh, you know, that'd be weird. You know, I don't even know how to think about it, but I'm, I'm really excited. I just want to. Uh, not even thinking about that right now, thinking about this fight, hopefully to be the next fight. Now right now, we're at this little bar called Where Else, and we're actually watching Season 10, Ultimate Fighter, and teammate Matt Mitrione. How'd you feel about Matt's fight tonight? He did win his fight tonight. How'd you feel about that? Man, Matt, uh, Matt showed a lot how, how, how strong he is, how athletic he is, and uh, how bad he is. I mean, he's, uh, he's awesome. He's, he has a lot of potential, and uh, I like working with him because he absorbs a lot, and uh, I mean, uh, he has a lot of potential to be great. And he's obviously a great athlete. He can take a good punch, he can hit hard, and, and you can't teach a lot of those things. So, so the things you can't teach are working on, and uh, I think he's going to be the uh, Good. And it's no secret that Matt is part of Integrated Fighting. Have you actually got to teach Matt a few things? I work with him a lot now, you know. Since he got back from the show, I'm trying to work with him all the time. Uh, you know, he, he, like I'm saying, he's kind of like a sponsor. He's one of the things that he absorbs. I think, I think he's, uh, he's picking up what I'm saying. You know? So uh, um, that's all I'm trying to do is keep Great. Now the Ultimate Fighter has already gone ten seasons. But this young man here was a veteran of season four. Is that correct? Season four when he went all the way through to the end to fight Matt Sarah for the decision. Now Chris, do you remember I mean, as much as you're sitting here and you watch the show right now, does a lot of the memories of when you fought on that Ultimate Fighting Show 4, does it come back to you? Yeah, I mean, not only the, the memories of fighting, but just being in the house and all the stuff, and how different it is when you're actually there than what it looks like on TV. Way different, you know what I mean? A lot of a lot of things happen they don't show, and there's a lot of emotions that don't really, you don't understand when you watch the show. You're like, these guys are weird. In, a, in, a, in a, like a science experiment like that, see what happens. It, it's different. So uh, I understand what's going on in his head a little bit more, and uh, you know, just just the feeling of being in a fight is, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's different than any other fight you have because it's not your normal setting. Great. Chris, thank you very much. Ladies Bruce, and gentlemen, it's a pleasure. from Indianapolis, Indiana, legendary fighter, UFC fighter, Chris Lights Out Lytle. Thanks.